Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the uses of eddy currents. Eddy currents are actually used to advantage in certain applications and one of such application is magnetic braking in trains. So we are going to discuss about that application of eddy current uh, where the eddy current is used uh, that is magnetic braking in trains. Strong electromagnets are situated above the rails in some electrically powered trains. When the electromagnets are activated, the metal wheels of the train get exposed to the magnetic field produced by the electromagnet and that will induce some eddy currents in the wheels. For example, let this be the wheel of the train before activating the electromagnet. This train moves in the forward direction. So the wheel will be moving, rotating like this now. Okay. Now, when the electromagnet is activated, the wheel get exposed to the magnetic field produced by the electromagnet. Okay. So let these cross marks represent the magnetic field lines which is directed in this direction that is into the plane of the spot. Okay, so magnetic field lines are like this into the plane of the board. These magnetic field lines are directed like this into the plane of the board. Okay, so this is the wheel of the train before activating the electromagnet and this is after activating the electromagnet. So the wheel got exposed to the magnetic field lines which is directed into the plane of this board that is in this direction. So initially the flex associated with the wheel was zero. Okay, here the flex associated with the wheel was zero because there was no magnetic field lines associated with this. But in this case, that is after activating the mag electromagnets, it got exposed to the magnetic field. So the magnetic flex now it has increased. So it has some magnetic flex now. The magnetic flex has increased from zero to some other value. Okay, so there is a change in magnetic flex. Okay, so according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, some induced current will be here. That is, eddy current will be induced in this, I mean, in this wheel. Okay, it will induce in such a direction to oppose that increase in flex or that change in flex. Because flex has increased from zero to some value. So, some eddy currents will be induced in this wheel of the train to oppose that increase in flex. Okay, so here the magnetic field is directed into the plane of this whiteboard. So to oppose those magnetic field lines, the induced eddy current must flow through this metal wheel in such a direction which produces a magnetic field out of the plane of the board. Right, here the magnetic field lines are directed like this into the plane of the board. So to oppose that, the magnetic field lines, I mean the, uh, the eddy currents must be produced here in such a direction that the magnetic field associated with that must be coming out of the plane, I mean coming out of the plane of this whiteboard. That is the current must be flowing in this direction. Then only the magnetic field lines, my thumb points out the direction of magnetic field because you, you, you just use your right hand rule, I mean right hand thumb rule. Okay, so if eddy, if eddy currents are in this direction, then magnetic field will be along this direction. That is out of the plane of the board. Okay, so in that situation, that opposes that change in flex. Okay, so current in this situation, the current will flow in the anti-clockwise direction or counter-clockwise direction. Okay, so the interaction between the magnetic field created by the electromagnet and the eddy currents opposes the motion of the train. That is, this interaction between the magnetic field produced by the electromagnet and the eddy current acts to slow down the wheels of the train. So that is what happening in the magnetic braking in trains. I hope you understood this. Thank you.